and some people who saw the brawl. She's live now from our Capitol Newsroom with the story. Jen? Well, this turned into quite a melee yesterday. At least 50 people, mostly teens, started beating each other. What sparked the fight is still unclear. We're told no one was seriously injured, but it took a number of police officers to break up the crowd, and the entire situation is now under investigation. At the height of rush hour, as hundreds of downtown workers were driving home using Henry Johnson Boulevard, a fight broke out and it escalated very fast. Seven-year-old Renisha Edmonds found herself in the middle of it as she was walking home with her babysitter. I was crying because I, I didn't know if I was going to get hit or something. Were you scared? Yes. She ran home and got her dad, who then ran back to the scene to check it out. It was adults. It was kids. It was a little bit of everybody that was fighting over there. Bev Paget was driving by at nearly the same time. You could see the cars in the street slam on brakes to keep from hitting the kids. And there was one girl that just went right over the top of a car. You know, the car didn't hit her. Somebody punched her and knocked her over the top of the car. Albany police were called, but that didn't initially stop the fight. It was two car, two cops, two officers had got on the scene, but when they realized that they had no control over it, they had to uh, call for backup. And the way I seen it yesterday, the APD wasn't all they had. They had them big spray cans, but to be honest, the, what, the people that was out there, yes, they really didn't care about that because they still was fighting. In some cases, it appeared to Bev and Rodney that adults, even parents, were encouraging the teens to continue. You just can't stand out there and let your kid fight and people get hurt and you in there instigating the violence instead of trying to stop the violence. Eventually, police were able to break up the crowd, but now the concern is for the next warm day when more teens and young adults will be outside without enough to do. Get your kids in programs, you know, send them somewhere. Make them sit down and open a book. Because I bet you, as hard as they fought out there yesterday, they don't fight to read that book. Now, Albany police tell us they are still investigating the situation. A number of people who were there took video on their cell phones, as you just saw. So some of that is being reviewed. They, this all also spread very quickly on social media. So that needs to be looked at as well. As soon as we have any updates, we'll bring them to you. But for now, live in the Albany newsroom, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News.